you would, take your Bibles and turn to Proverbs chapter number 3, please. Proverbs chapter number 3. I just want to thank the pastor and pastoral staff and church as well for allowing me to preach tonight. I do count it as an honor, and I don't feel worthy preaching behind this pulpit at all. Proverbs chapter number 3, and begin verse number 5, says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to thine own understandings. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Let's pray. pray. Lord, we just come to you tonight. I ask that you just be with me as I preach your word. I ask that you just empty me of myself and just fill me with you. Lord, that these words would be my words, they'd be your words. Lord, just be with the people. Just touch their heart. I ask that you just be with their services tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> Every single day, we're going to go through a trial no matter how big or how small it may be. A lot of us have trials that we're going through right now. We have, I have, a lot of you guys know I'm going to college. I have one more semester. Hopefully, Lord willing, I have one more semester left. If I can just pass one class. But last semester, when I finally, when I heard that I did not pass that class, it hurt, it hurt me. It was a burden upon me now to pa- help me pass that class. And so when we go through life, we have to use, we have to trust God in everything we do. We have to, we can't just be figuring out things on our own. And we can't be, and once we do all that and we get through the trial, we have to give God the glory for everything we do. This verse outlines very simple ways of how when we are going through trials and tribulations, how, as a Christian, how we can get through those. The first thing is, trust God. It's very simple. It says there in verse number 5, trust, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. We have to trust God in everything we do. We have to, we can't just be trusting him just partly. The Bible says we have to trust him with all our heart. All the small things that come about, we have to trust God with all our heart. And all the big things that come about, we have to trust God with all our heart. If we don't, it's going to be miserable going through that trial. And if we do not trust God, it's going to hurt us. Just as, just as if you guys, you a lot of you are married in here, you have to trust your spouse in the deci- lot of decisions that you make. As you make them together, you have to just trust that those decisions are going to be what your family has. Teens, you have to trust your parents and help how they help you make your decisions as you grow through life. Kids, the same thing. You have to trust in your parents, just as, as if we trust in God with everything. Second thing is don't try to figure it out yourself. It says right there in the verse number five, the lighter part, it says, lean not to thine own understandings. Quit trying to figure out your faults by yourself. Because if you do, they're not going to come out the way you want them to come out. Just as if men, we have a hard time when we read instructions when we're building something. How we just forget to read the instructions and we just dive in and build something. And when we get done with it, there's extra pieces there and we figure, try to figure out why there's extra pieces when there isn't supposed to be. I enjoy building model planes. 
the different fighter planes that we have within our Air Force. I enjoy building those. Now, when they come in a box, they come all spread out in different pieces. Some very, very small, some very big. I have to figure out how to make those little tiny pieces and big pieces come together to make an airplane. So I have to actually read the instructions and figure out what I want to do to build this plane. Because there's sometimes there's different ways you can um, build them. But I actually have to read those instructions. I actually have to follow them. God has given you instructions right here. As you go through life and as you go through different trials, God has given you instructions of how to get through those trials and tribulations. And it's the Word of God. And lastly, it says in verse number 6, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Give God the glory. After you get done with your trial, after you've come out of that trial or tribulation or burden or whatever it may be, give God the glory for it. I know maybe it wasn't the way you wanted it to come out, but still give God the glory for it. Because maybe that God was using that tribulation or trial or burden to help someone else in the future that you may not see. We have to obey every single... When we're going through these trials, we have to obey Him as we go through it. At that teen camp, um, one of the messages was on David. And how David, when he first was told by his dad to go take uh, the bread and cheeses to his brothers, he obeyed. It was a very small task to do, yes. But yet, later on... He was able to kill Goliath, and he was able to become king through that small decision, that small obedience. When we go through life and as we go through these trials, remember, obey God through them. If he's telling you to do something, do it. So trust God. Don't figure it out yourself. And remember, give God the glory for it. In everything we do, trust Him and give Him the glory for it. Let's pray.